going around the Philippines, we've seen so many things already. We've seen how people live, right? Uh, but living above ground is one thing and living beside, uh, let's say, a lake or river is another, but you can't really just imagine how so the situation of people choosing to live under a bridge, a concrete bridge at that. Uh, the heat, the heat being uh, absorbed and being, how should I say, uh, you know, that the bridge, you know, you, the concrete, you have concrete above you and you've got uh, sticks and, and uh, muddy, muddy soil beneath you. Uh, I, and you got a river full of trash. Uh, I can't just imagine how anyone could really live peacefully. Actually, when you're going down the bridge, you really can see what's down there, what's not. You, you can't really imagine uh, what to expect going down the stairs alone and uh, the things that you think you'd need to hold going down you, you'd figure na you know how can people how can people live this way you know how can how can anyone decide make the choice to live in such a place that you know uh, they have really no security they have no safety um, it's a hazard any which way you look at it and maybe for an individual possibly but for anyone to build their family have their family live in such a place is um, unimaginable You know, it amazes me uh, walking, walking uh, underneath the bridge. It's that uh, it's slippery. You know, it's always slippery. You know, that thought that anybody one wrong step and you can fall into, you know, into a ditch of dirt or even to the river, and it's it's something that. Um, anybody above, you know, above wouldn't even think of, you know, existing. You, know, you never imagine that there are people down there that there are at least 40 families, you know, um, how they wash their clothes, uh, where they get their current, their electricity, you know, uh, where the water comes from, where they wash their clothes, and where they take a bath. Can't also imagine, you know, where uh, where their comfort room is, I, and I think everybody can imagine where they do it, you know. And um, just going up their narrow stairs to uh, go into their makeshift homes, it's such a small space, you know. Uh, they said they even said earlier that. When it floods, they have to elevate their things to the upper level of their Huh? 
Wala ko yung pamilya? Ah, ay, isang pamilya. Ilan ko yun sa taas? Diba? Seven? Things may be, but for people to keep themselves there while there's a flood, while their property is being flooded, and, uh, it's just really beyond, beyond my comprehension.